So she goes down to enjoy the festival and bumps into this little girl who's passing out flyers for the Christmas play. What kind of a, of a, a rat bastard idiot would schedule a live show on a Christmas Eve? Her dad's directing it, who of course is Emma's ex. And when he walks over, we see that things are a bit awkward between them. Hi. Emma. But that's broken up when we see how dumb his daughter is when she asks how he knows someone from his own hometown. I hate myself for being so stupid. She also finds out that they're staying at the same bed and breakfast because Bronwyn cyberstalked the guy and found out where he was staying. He has a private account, so I had to make a fake one to see what he's been up to. And she justifies it by saying it was fate that there was a last minute cancellation. And her parents are surprisingly on board with her sister setting him up. You know, because in these stories, light stalking is considered cute. Good for you, honey. 